Hello friends, welcome again and this is my new project restaurant management system and I have developed this project in Java, Spring Boot, Microservices, Angular, Angular and MySQL database, right? So on the Spring Boot side, I am using Spring Boot version 2.1.6 release on the Angular side, I am using Angular version 7 and the MySQL version 5.6, sorry 5.8, right? So these all uh, versions I am using for developing this project. For the ID, I am using Spring Boot tool suits for developing the microservices in a Spring Boot and uh, Visual Studio Code for developing Angular front end code. And I am using PHP My Admin Jam server for MySQL, right? So these all technology stacks we have used for developing this project restaurant management system. Here the APIs are running on the port 8080 and the front end is running on the port 4200. Right. So these are the technology stacks we have used. So let's start with the functionality, go through that what we have developed and what are the features available inside this project. Right. So this is a mini project developed in Spring Boot and Angular. Mini project means it contains only and only admin login. There is no customer operations here. Right. So if you run the project, you will get this home page first, the login page, because it's admin driven applications only. So the user ID is admin and password is test. Oh, I think there is a different user id commit at the rate gmail.com and password is test i need to check then so the user id is admit at the rate gmail.com and password is test right so this is the admin driven application so this is the admin credential only right if you click on the login then you will get this dashboard where admin can perform certain operations right so let's start with the menu one by one so this is the start cell here admin can start the cell means he will ask for the customer name so customer name and the mobile number right once you click on the start cell you will get this dashboard right here you will select the product and the quantity one the item will be added and the total amount will be calculated automatically the next one was a suppose item two add item so you can see the items are added into the cart and the total amount is calculating automatically right chicken with rice again three right so 19 so you can see all of the items we have added into the cart suppose if I, we want to delete any item just click on the delete that item will be deleted from the cart you can add that item again right so add so you can see the whole things are processing automatically right once you click on the save and save sales details then the whole item the whole order will be saved inside the database and you can print the receipt also you can see order number is 106 and these are the order items right this is the order report all of the order which admin has placed will be displayed here you can see the details like we have placed order number 106 once you click on that you will be able to see the details of that order number six and all of the communications are happening through the microservices which we have developed in the spring boot right this is a product report all of the product which we have added will be displayed here right you can edit and delete the product from here like if you want to add then you can add the product from here also like if i want i don't need this one just click on that and that item will be deleted right from here you will be able to add the product you can add any number of product using the microservices right here all of the product will be saved inside a database these are the company report all of the company if any product belongs to any company then you can manage the company credit application here this is the ad company from here admin can add the company right this is a category report that what is the type of food it's a veg non-veg chinese Mughlai, right you can add those manage those categories here this is again a credit application right you can add update and delete items from here right this is an add category from here you can add any number of category let me show you right i'm adding this one right so this category has been added if i want to edit just click on the edit and that will be added and if i want to delete just click on the delete that will be deleted right the last one is a logout if you click on the logout then the whole session will be destroyed and you will be redacted to the login page so you can see you have been redacted to the login page again if you want to log in just enter your user id and password and after that you can log in inside the system right so these all functionalities we have developed uh, in this project restaurant management system right as i told you earlier this is a angular spring boot and mysql based web application 
and it's a mini project where we have developed the admin functionalities and it's for the restaurant management right so if you need any more functionality any extra feature inside this project just put it into the comments we will incorporate those changes we will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much